Good morning. The government wants the European Commission to allow it to set prices for nuclear and hydroelectric power as it seeks to decouple the cost of electricity production from gas and to curb windfall profits, so energy ministry sources said. The current mechanism for establishing European electricity prices is set by the power plant, typically a gas generator, that produces at the highest cost needed to meet demand. The proposed reform would seek to prevent sources of energy that are cheaper from benefiting from the high gas prices. We have enough experience of what works and the limitations of the current model which is not prepared for stressful situations. So the Energy Minister, Theresa Ribeira, told a news conference yesterday explaining part of the reform proposal. The European Commission is working towards proposing a broader reform of EU electricity markets in March with a view to reducing the impact of gas prices on power bills for industry and households. Spain has repatriated two women and 13 children from refugee camps in Syria. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs gave no personal information about the 15 individuals, but the newspaper El País said the women, both Spanish citizens, were widows of fighters for the Islamic State group, and nine of the children were the women's, and four were orphans under the care of one of them. The ministry would not confirm the details, but said police met the women on their arrival at the Terrain Air Base outside of Madrid. It said the pair were to stand before a national court judge who would proceed to legalise their judicial situation. The children were taken in by Madrid Regional Social Services, the ministry said. The ministry said the repatriation had taken several months due to the complexity and the conditions of risk in the Syrian camps. Former Barcelona and Brazil defender Dani Alves is under investigation over an allegation that he sexually assaulted a woman in a nightclub last month, so Catalonia's Supreme Court said yesterday. The court in Barcelona said in a statement that it had opened proceedings for an alleged crime of sexual assault as a result of the complaint filed by a woman for events that allegedly occurred in a nightclub in Barcelona last month. The statement did not specifically name Alves, but a court spokeswoman confirmed that he was the subject of the complaint. A spokesperson for Alves said the player vehemently denies the allegations he is currently playing in Mexico. And Riyadh will host the 2023 Spanish Super Cup for the third time starting today. The four teams, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia and Real Betis, will take part in the tournament. Spanish league champions Real Madrid will play Valencia today. Real Betis take on rivals Barcelona tomorrow, with the winners of each game competing for the Spanish Super Cup on Sunday. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.